Welcome back you guys. Today we're making a banoffee cake. So this cake is inspired by a banoffee pie, which is a British dessert that was invented in the early 1970s, and it's made with toffee, bananas, and whipped cream. Whenever I hear toffee, I always think of the crunchy candy, but this toffee is much softer and it's really more of a dulce de leche, so it's really a great silky consistency. You can make this dulce de leche or toffee filling from scratch with milk and sugar and you just cook it down until it gets really caramelized. Or you also can do a quicker way which is to boil a can of sweetened condensed milk. So the full recipe for this cake is up on chillsweets.com so if you have any questions about what I'm using or how it's made, you can head over there and check it out. As I assembled this cake, I added a thin layer of my whipped buttercream around the entire layer and I then piped a border around the edges of the layer to help keep that toffee filling in place. The toffee filling is pretty thick, but it definitely is still thinner than a thick buttercream, so having that border really helps when you're frosting. Once I spread out the toffee filling, I also added some fresh banana slices on top of it. So with all of this filling and those slippery banana slices, you might find that your layers are sliding a little bit. And if you're having any issues with that while you're stacking or frosting, you can always insert a dowel to keep everything in place. Luckily, I was able to do this without using a dowel, but I was really careful as I spread my frosting and as I assembled the layers. Once all four of these eight inch banana cake layers were stacked, I spread the overhanging frosting around the cake and then added on a bit more to create a really solid crumb coat. Once I had smoothed this crumb coat around the cake, I chilled it in the freezer for about 5 minutes and I then added on a second thicker layer of frosting. So I made this layer really nice and solid because as you can see some of my little bits of banana were already starting to try to escape through my crumb coat, so I wanted to make this second layer really thick so that it locked everything in place. Next I used my bench scraper to get my second layer really nice and smooth, and then came time for the really fun part. So for this I tried out a little bit of a different technique. It's really easy to do and it's great if you're not comfortable getting really smooth sides on your cake. So I placed a bit of my toffee filling around the base and I used a large offset spatula to create some diagonal drag marks up the cake. As I was doing this, a bit of frosting got onto my spatula and you can see it kind of incorporates back down on the base of the cake, but I kind of liked the way it looked. It made everything flow together and really made kind of a beautiful ombre effect, but if you don't want that, you can clean off your spatula after each swipe. You could definitely stop at this point, but I really wanted to blend everything together and give it a really cohesive look, so I decided to make one more pass around the cake. I carefully dragged any overhanging bits of frosting into the center of the cake, and I then added a ring of sliced bananas around the cake. As a warning, if you're not planning on eating this right away, your banana slices will turn brown, but you can prevent this by either brushing them with a little bit of lemon juice, or you can use banana chips on top of this cake. Once all of my bananas were in place, I used a spoon to drizzle a little bit of my toffee filling on top of the cake in a spiral pattern. I heated it up in the microwave for about 15 seconds to make it easier to drizzle. And that's it! Our banoffee cake is complete. Lately I have been so drawn to simple toppings to decorate the top of my cake, so I really love the way this banana ring looks. And now it's time for the best part, to show you the inside of this cake. Don't forget you can find the recipe on chillsweets.com. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below.